Yep. 26. 27. 26. 26. Thank you, man. 26. You can use that microphone, man. My name is Karen Daker, and I'm a member of Occupy Buffalo, and I'm sure we were responsible for getting some people to come down here today, who otherwise would not have even heard about these root cuts because the NFTA wants to keep it a secret. They don't want to tell anybody until the last minute, and then people are going to be like, oh, I can't go to my job now. But um, anyway, five years ago, there were more bus routes, and you were riders. And you were able to fund our public transit system then. Why can't you do it now? Are you so stupid that you're mismanaging our funds? You want us to pay more for the fare? I know that's your plan. You want to threaten us with all these cuts so we'll be like, oh, I'll just pay an extra quarter, let me keep my room. No, that's not going to work. You don't want to take a pay cut, but you want us to pay more out of our pockets? I don't think so. You better stop playing games because this is our city. And lastly, I wish I could vote every single one of you on the board of directors of the NFTA out of office. Thank you. Yeah. Hello, everybody. My name is Steve Norris, and as in Nancy O R R I S. Um, I, I'm not going to burden you with statistics because uh, you've already heard about statistics, so I'm going to speak from my personal experience. Um, from my personal experience, I wanted to take the bus one Saturday, Saturday morning from, from the transit road to East Amherst. I was told, it turned out, that there was no bus service that's going from the uh, main transit to East Amherst on Saturday morning. What did I have to do? Pay $20 out of my own pocket on a cab to get to East Amherst for my medical appointment. Oh. And that ain't right. No. Another example. How many of you here are employees of the Seneca Niagara Casino in Niagara Falls? Yeah. All right. The average time that the number 40 bus, it takes, it takes it to get from the central bus terminal on North Division to the, to the Niagara Falls Casino. You know how long do I have to wait sometimes? 100 minutes. <laughs> and that's the way it is on average. It's a, an hour and a half to wait, to, wait, to, wait, to wait for a bus for the number 40 to get to, to the casino. I'm not talking about, uh, uh, I mean, I'm not talking about a, a gambler going there. I'm talking about people that have to commute from Buffalo to Niagara Falls to, to work at the casino. And that's the way it is right now, which is bad. It's going to get worse. Sir, you dropped some change. Sir. Exactly. Well, well, so, with all the doom and gloom, I got two solutions here. Solutions. One of them, why doesn't the NFTA board including Mr. Sloma and all of you here, I know it's not, it's not easy or nice to hear, take your own uh, pay cut. <laughs> your own pay cut. <laughs> and the second solution, which I had proposed in front of the, in front of Assemblyman Sean Ryan at the Crane Library two weeks ago, and yesterday in front of the Buffalo Common Council, would be to kill two birds in one shot. You know what it is? Sell the NFTA owned lands in the Outer Harbor. Still control for the residents of Buffalo. So we can have our, a destiny of our development of our own Outer Harbor and use the proceeds to plug the hole in the NFTA budget so shortfall. So we would not have to resort to either a fair hike or service cuts. And that's the third way that Mr. The third way that Mr. Ryan was advocating. Woo! Thank you very much. Woo! 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 Woo!
move on to 29. Yes, ma'am, go right ahead. Thank you. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. My name is Vina Pauly. It's P-A-W-L-E-Y. It's the way my last name spelled. And I depend on mass transit. NFTA's idea of cutting bus routes will result in a no-win situation for most people dependent on mass transit. People depend on mass transit to get to work, school, doctor's appointments, shopping, and a variety of other reasons. Many cannot afford to purchase a car, let alone afford the upkeep. Look at the prices people pay at the gas pumps. Some have found that driving makes them too tense and would prefer someone else to take the wheel. That's why buses are a good idea. Many others are disabled visibly or have hidden disabilities. Yeah, ever hear of epilepsy? That's what I have been treated for. Yeah. Children don't have licenses to drive. Sure, they take the school buses five days a week. How about the days they have to go to school on Saturdays? Or take music classes, lessons at such places as community music school? That does affect me as an adult. Um, and waiting for buses as, uh, as long as we have to on Saturdays, a uh, half hour, and if it's, uh, if it was like last Saturday, rainy, cold, miserable out there, it's no picnic. Since downtown is what it is, city dwellers have to depend on mass transit to get to the suburbs where the malls are. For purchases, one cannot purchase downtown, and that includes decent clothing. <laughs> In short, cutting a bus route is a disgrace. I think it's time for the NFTA to find out how other cities solve their mass transit problems. Maybe we can learn from them and manage similarly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Number 30, please. Thank you. And that'll be followed by 31. Thank you, sir. Go right ahead. Hey, my name is Bruce Hogan. I'm 64. I'm a resident of Allentown. And I need my number seven bus to get to Buffalo General for my medical appointments. I dare say there are any number of other folks that needed to go the other direction to Buffalo Psych Center for any outpatient stuff they're doing. I think it's a damn disgrace to uh, balance your budget on the backs of us who take the buses all the time. Uh, I also, and, and the elimination of the seven absolutely staggers me. If you eliminate the number seven, that, if that route is eliminated, the number three, like the domino effect, the number three and the number five are going to be so damned packed, you'll have to take a reservation to get a seat on it. So I don't want to see the seven eliminated at all for myself, but for him, I took the seven when I was a working person. Now that I'm retired, I still use the seven. Oh, and one other thing too. What genius at the MTA, NFTA, decided to eliminate the credit card option for paying for my monthly bus pass? Thank you. I could, you know, I could not believe that I had to go to the bank to get money or the ATM there to have exact change to pay for my pass this year, you know, this particular month, and why can I no longer get my bus pass at Wilson Farms? Okay, that's it for me, folks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.